Hello, I am Yogi Nisunita and this is Meditation, Yoga and Stuff podcast. I believe my dharma or my life's purpose is to share my understanding of meditation, yoga and Ayurveda, holistic healing science of India. I make these amazing wisdoms accessible and adaptable for present times. So let's start. So today's uh, topic is self-care with Ayurveda during the, the summer time. So summer time is a pitta time. There is a like, lot of heat around us. The, this heat can create re- imbalance in our systems. In the wisdom of Ayurveda, it's all about the rhythms. It's all about the relationships. So what I'm talking here about is relationship of our own uh, being with ourself. That's the first thing in Ayurveda because it is a holistic science and it is a science which is goes quite in depth. So it is a medical science. At the same time, it is it is a holistic science. So it, uh, the wisdom of uh, yoga and Ayurveda is completely based into meditation. So that's where this wisdom comes from. So in this wisdom in Ayurveda, it is a science of relationships. And let me elaborate it a little bit more. It's a relationship, our relationship with ourself, our relationship with our environment, our relationship with our food, our relationship with experiences we're digesting. So in Ayurveda, digestion is not just the food digestion. It is also the experiences, how we are digesting them, because that's going to impact our system as well. So these experiences which we have in this world, also how we react to that is going to impact our digestion of our system, like actual food digestions. Another thing also is Ayurveda is connecting with our own rhythm, the relationship with the rhythm. What is What does that mean is, The universe has a rhythm, which is one of the rhythm is the day and night. And so how we work with within that rhythm. And then we also have universe also has a rhythm of seasons. So how we react to these seasons and how we try to find balance. Just like wisdom of yoga, yoga is all about finding balance in our system. Ayurveda is the same. So Ayurveda, where we tune into the rhythms of the nature where here in today's session rhythm of nature is summer and so in this summer time how we are going to bring balance into our dosha our dosha or our constitution ayurvedic constitution is something it it is not box it's basically helps us to understand ourselves better so we're not putting ourselves into the box in fact when we understand ourselves better there is a lot of freedom there so we we then live our life with a lot of awareness. And so coming back to wisdom of yoga, yoga is all about becoming aware of yourself, what's happening in your system. So Ayurveda helps us to understand us better. And then when we try, when we understand like, okay, my dosha, for example, if person thinks that their dosha is pitta dosha, they know that there is fiery personality they have, they will react more to heat right so in summer time they need to take more precautions or what a person for example they know that during season change or any like a windy season is going to impact them so they need to protect themselves in a sense like may, maybe wear layers stay warm stay the skin will be dry for vata so they need to oil themselves you know so or keep moist moisture in their skin moisture in their hair and that will help them to feel better and feel grounded as well. For kapha person, kapha person's tendency is to focus more on relaxation or lying down, not doing a lot of activity. But for kapha person, if they do that, they'll put on weight quickly. Weight is a fundamental imbalance in Ayurveda. We are going to focus on, okay, how do I feel healthy? So uh, kapha person needs to move. Kapha person should also be aware of cold, damp weather. It's not good for them. So dry, warm weather or pitta time is perfect. Or summer time is perfect for kapha. We take this understanding of wisdom of Ayurveda into our life very practically. So when we understand ourselves, we can actually 
take this understanding and and become really free in a sense like then we understand ourselves and we know that what works for us and we then do those practices bring those practices into our day to day life so during the summer time it is a very vibrant energy it is like a happening state right so pitta is a happening state summer is a happening state we feel like doing activity yes we ho- extremely hot but nature itself is a lot of things are happening there right so it flourishes so you'll see that a lot of uh, animals uh, thrive during the summer time and in winter time they will go into hibernation our system kind of like works like that so it is a time where we need special balance and harmony in our system from ayurvedic point of view that it is a science of life in ayurveda routine daily routine is extremely important it's very important to evacuate bowels daily so that is really huge part of ayurveda in fact if you go to ayurveda practitioner their first question will be how is your bowel movements like it is so personal but that's what ayurveda practitioner will ask you and the reason behind it when that is working well when you are evacuating your bowels daily without any discomfort that means you are moving towards your optimal health so that's a first step of optimal health second step is then you can add maybe physical movement and then maybe meditation as well so that's really personal choice you may choose asana practice you may choose nature walk you may choose going to gym whatever works for you that's fine meditation because um we need to start or we want to start our day with a positive tone so ayurveda suggests bring in meditation in your practice now the sequence of meditation may be after you done your physical practice you can then sit for meditation and that's fine you can add pranayama here before meditation that's fine but i suggest that keep it simple and adapt, adapt it to your needs so rule of thumb evacuation of the bowel in fact that should be your wake up call and uh, then uh, the next is physical movements meditation practice breathing practice it's up to you what you want to add here i am happy to help you to set up your daily routines for your optimal health and i am also happy to help you with summer routines winter routines and also help you to move to your towards your optimal health i'm going to put a link in show notes so feel free to book a 15 minute free session and then we can take it from there the free session is via zoom call so feel free to book a session and we can take it from there now because we have sometimes combination of doshas there are a few things may work for you understand yourself and choose practices what really makes your heart sing if you're confused about your dosha again i'm happy to help you can always book a session with me and i can help you with dosha another thing is i'm also offering on demand ayurveda lifestyle certification course this course is really wonderful this is how i teach so if you are interested in learning more about that please let me know and also keep an eye on my website where you can find more information and in that this course is going to come online on 15th of november 2023 then drinking water so in ayurveda we suggest either room temperature or warm water cold water is very hard to digest and that's why ayurveda suggests that room temperature or even uh, for dosha like kapha and vata maybe warm water maybe not in summer well for vata even i suggest that even during summer if you are extreme vata case i suggest that drink warm water it will help you to bring balance in your system same with kapha because there will be already a more of a, the wetness in the system so if you want to lift that the warm water now how much water according to your dosha you should a vata person should drink the most water like eight glasses of water is good for vata pitta somewhere between 8 to 6 glasses depending on how thirsty you are now for pitta i would suggest that don't drink warm water during summer at all it's not going to serve you so room temperature water because it's easy to digest and then for kapha warm water but maybe 4 to 6 glasses so if, because kapha if you have water retention in your system in kapha then i would suggest that reduce the 
water there are two types of kapha one is water kapha one is earth kapha which is like a bulky square heavy bone they can drink more water but those who are water retention uh, kapha then they should be aware that you know maybe four to six six glasses is enough now if you work in hot environment so here you need to look into that as well and we will add uh, more water if you work in hot environment so that's another suggestion also the natural things you can drink is a coconut water which will help you to balance uh, and digest um it if you are sweating too much if you are going through a lot of um if you're feeling very heated then coconut water help you to bring balance back it has a, a natural balance in itself it actually replenishes your system it really a wonderful way to make your system like uh, have all the naturally needed things to hydrate your system that doesn't mean that you sacrifice the water please make sure that you drink water but the coconut water will be added thing pitta person can have that throughout the seasons like all seasons you find especially if you work in hot environment then i suggest that have that throughout the year few options for like a lunch time try and have regular time but i also understand as a yoga teacher the regular time goes out of the window so <laughs> i totally get it so try and find balance there i finally came to conclusion that at least lunch before 2 to 30 pm so that's my that was my because i used to teach whole i i teach whole morning sometimes so at least 2 to 30 pm before that i have my lunch but again try and find uh, solutions there fresh inviting food which uh, again make your heart sing so i'm going to use this word a lot because it's really important to uh, tune into how it makes you feel and ayurveda is all about that like it should feel right it should feel a nourishing it should and after effect of that should also be wonderful dinner time and then there should be gap between dinner so in um between dinner and sleep so roughly two and a half hours of gap between dinner and sleep three hours is ideal but as early dinner as possible early and light dinner now in summer time we don't feel like having soup and totally understand that so anyway bring in light dinner which will easy to digest so tune into your own understanding of that these were some of the suggestions from ayurveda to look after yourself in summer you can always tune in to what is your dosha as or as i suggested that please feel free to book a session and i can help you to understand your dosha so very excited about the upcoming ayurveda lifestyle consultation course in this course you can actually learn all the wisdom of ayurveda where you can actually help people to understand their dosha you can actually help them to have this lifestyle uh for their themselves as well as their loved ones their clients if you are a yoga teacher or if you are uh, into life coaching or any sort of coaching this course will be really really beneficial because you will understand your dosha you will understand your clients dosha and you can give them practices applicable for their system and the impact is really massive so stay tuned November 15th uh, 2023 thank you for being here i really appreciate you bye for now thank you for tuning in i really appreciate that that you're taking this time out of your day don't forget to subscribe take care bye for now